Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like my side part is like super intense today, like unnecessarily. It's too much, it's too much. Um, but anyways, today we're gonna be doing a drugstore, all drugstore product foundation routine. So everything but the, mm, everything but the brushes to an extent are going to be drugstore. So first things first, I have to tell you about this sponge. I know that some people are gonna be saying, get to the point, stop talking, oh my gosh, she talks way too much before she gets to that tutorial. But don't care, this beauty sponge here, no, my friends, it's not a beauty blender, but it looks exactly like one besides this, and it feels exactly like one, and it works exactly like one, and it is like the best beauty blender dupe in the history of beauty blenders. It, or, makeup sponges. It is from H&M and it was three dollars. Three euro. So I don't know what that would be in Canada or the US, but it was three freaking euro and I bought it on a whim thinking it's probably not going to expand. It's probably not going to change texture. It's probably going to be a crappy makeup sponge like most of them are. But no. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's perfect. So if you guys have the H&M makeup selection near you. I know it's hard to come by in the States. They have it in pretty much every H&M in Europe, but if you have it near you or you see it on vacation or something, get like 10 of these. I just got the one and I'm going to get like 10 of them tomorrow. Tomorrow. Anyways, moving on to the tutorial. So I have no makeup on my face except for my eyes and I have just lightly moisturized with the Nivea Care regular moisturizer. And now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Minimizer because I have like crazy ass pores. And I didn't bring a mirror with me today. That's going to be a problem. So I'm not going to smear this all over my face. I'm pretty much just... Oh, that could have been bad. Almost dry powder. I'm just going to rub it in my fingers and then pat it onto my problem areas where I have huge ass pores. So my forehead, right in the balls of my, or apples, balls of your feet, the apples of my cheeks, and then my chin, and I feel like I used too much. I'm just gonna, you know. So now I'm just gonna go in with my green concealer. This one is by NYX. It's the HD Photogenic Concealer in Green, and it is so concentrated, so you need like, Nothing. So I get a lot of redness just around here. So I'm doing two little pats and I have problem skin right now on my chin. And I have two bitties right there. So as you can see, I used like nothing. And even the little tiny spots that you can't even see right here, that will probably even be too much. And I'm just gonna use my finger to pat that in. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Perfect Match. It's actually the True Match, but here in Europe it's called the Perfect Match. And my shade is... 2N Vanilla. And this is the perfect foundation match for my skin. I do prefer the old formulation though. I didn't even know they had changed it until I googled the formulation difference because I put it on and I was like, whoa, this feels different. I do prefer the old one, but I digress. So get my hair. So I'm just gonna take a couple pumps and all over my face. Now I'm gonna take my trusty H&M Beauty Blender and just pat that into the skin.
So next, I'm gonna use concealer, and the concealer I'm using is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Camouflage and Corrector, and my shade is number 10, Ivory. And this is a great dupe for the NARS Creamy Radiance. Is that what it's called, the Creamy Radiance Concealer? Forget. And again, using our Beauty Blender, which is so sad now that it's dirty. I wish this was in a different color so that it wasn't so dirty looking. Now I'm gonna use some powder, and the powder that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me number 110, I believe, 110 porcelain. And the brush I'm using is my Morphe G7 large powder brush. So for my bronzer, sadly, this isn't a drugstore product. So the reason for that is I'm moving home to Canada in two weeks and I sent home a bunch of makeup that I'm not planning on using before I go. And I sent home my NYX bronzer again, you guys. So I don't have any like warm drugstore bronzy shade to use because there's a great one in that kit. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I'm sorry, but I would be using the NYX Contour Kit. That's really what matters, right? The brush I'm using is my Saime 1.4 brush, and I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a bit because I'm looking pretty white here with this winter skin. And I'm also going to put it on the apples on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And on my forehead, because that's where the sun would hit you in the summertime. And then for my contour, I am using a drugstore product. I'm using NYX Taupe HD Blush. It looks like this, it's all broken, so I can't really zoom in for you but this is pretty much the exact shade that's in the contour kit, so. Oh, and the brush I'm using is the Small Contour by Makeup Addiction. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. What else? What else would I use? And for highlight, I am going to be going with the non-drugstore product again, but again, it's only because I don't have my NYX contour kit, because that is the shade I would be using, is the lightest, almost white shimmer highlight, which is a great dupe for the Anastasia Starlight Illuminator, which is what I'm gonna be using today. But I would be using the NYX contour kit, but it's not here. So I don't know why I'm filming this if I don't have everything I need but I'm running out of ideas, people. Okay, so my card cut out, or got full, so I'm not exactly sure what of the highlighting you saw, but anyways. So lastly, I'm just gonna apply some lipstick, and the lipstick I'm applying is 
Maybelline's Lust for Blush Color Whisper, which is discontinued, but I think it's on Amazon still. And that is it. That is my drugstore foundation routine. All right, guys, that is it. That is my go-to drugstore foundation routine. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And go check out my Instagram, which is at Lashes Love and Leather. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.